How's it going? Welcome to another icon. We have got a uh, mid version of Franco Berezi, who I never ever see in any game. Uh, I don't really know anyone who willingly uses Berezi either, but yeah, definitely not the most meta or ideal center back that would come to mind, uh, particularly because of that low acceleration. Um, but also, he's very short for a center back. He's only five foot nine, uh, so you know he won't be that dominant, uh, huge physical presence in the back. Uh, but what he does offer you is that composure as well as ball playing ability and the really high uh, practically end game defensive stats. Um, but yeah, it's really going to depend on how you de uh, you know defend in the game uh, to determine if he's usable. And it is really important to use a center back that will complement him. So I used Van, um, no sorry, Delit. Uh, so you're going to want to use someone who has a much more stockier build as well as someone who's much you know much taller. Uh, to really get the best out of him so uh, we will of course get into these stats and start out with the pace so like i said very low acceleration at 60 and then the 76 uh, sprint speed so it's very necessary to boost it with a chemistry style uh, i think shadow's a bit of a waste so you're gonna probably want to use catalyst uh, to boost up the passing a bit um, but yeah even with you know the defensive awareness and positioning being so high uh, to somewhat neutralize the lack of pace uh, he will get caught out in a lot of situations, even if you're really, really good at defending. Um, you know, if you play against someone who has a forward who has a lot of size, uh, strength, power, and speed, it uh, can be tricky, particularly with the over-the-top through balls uh, to kind of box out um, those types of attackers. Uh, so if you do do, you know, play in that situation, you'll want to play with a, a bit of a deeper line uh, to kind of control that space in behind. Um, and then the, you know, of course with the agile dribbling system, uh, I struggled particularly with that Vinicius Jr. who's really good in the game. Uh, you know, with the speed boost, you know, the containment of those attackers, uh, it can be a bit tricky. And what I mean by that, um, you know, maybe that's also down to the size. Uh, you know, he doesn't have that frame to kind of block uh, those those runs. So with a Van Dyke, you know, if you try to run past Van Dyke, uh, he'll kind of just stick out your leg and block out your path. But with Berezi, you don't really get that. Uh, so sometimes when you get that huge change of speed, um, he doesn't have that ability, that size uh, to kind of cover that out. Um, on the ball, uh, you know, he's got that 89 composure and 91 reactions. So some great stats. Um, and also being a bit shorter, he's going to be much more nimble uh, on and off the ball. Uh, so when it comes to, you know, I guess zonal defending, uh, he'll feel much more uh, fluid. Um, and then the passing as well. Uh, so when you do win possession, you'll a you'll be able to distribute it to your midfielders uh, to start up an attack. Uh, he's got the 85 short pass and 84 long pass. Uh, defensively, um, as I mentioned, you know, he has some very good defensive um, intelligence, very good at positioning himself. Uh, 96 interceptions and 94 defensive awareness, so he's very good at picking out the passes and reading the play. And then the tackling, uh, you know, he has some really good technique, uh, some very nice animations. Um, he's got the 94 stand tackle and 95 slide tackle, um, but you know, he's not violent. He's not, you know, like I said, dominant. Um, he doesn't go through the attacker, uh, so the ball retention can be a bit inconsistent at times. Uh, so you won't always win the ball back, but. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely feel the defensive, the defensive stats, um, and you know he's going to be, in general, a very good ball winner. Um, the physicality stats: uh, 79 strength, which isn't too bad. Um, he only has 80 jumping, uh, so if you get abused with crosses again with a big man in the box, uh, he might have a bit of an issue. But yeah, for this year, um, you know, I feel like in particular. Um, he's at the lowest he's ever been in terms of usability uh, and you know if you're playing very competitively and you really want to win um, he might not be the right guy for you just because of you know really that acceleration uh, being tricky in certain you know defensive situations and that size uh, is not really too helpful but yeah definitely a unique option um, if you love Berezi or you want maybe a ball playing center back someone better on the ball he might be might be an option for you, but I would probably stay away uh, if you really need a solid figure at the back, someone who's going to be dominant. So that's going to be my review. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.